What is Lammas or Lunasa? In this video we discuss the festival of harvest and bounty, life and death. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Lammas or Lunasa is the first of the three harvest festivals of the year. With the late summer flowers in bloom, it marks the hottest part of the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. It is celebrated on the 1st or the 2nd of August. Lunasa was a festival in honour of the Irish god Lu, which roughly translates to the Shining One. He was the god of harvests, fire, light and metallurgy. He was also a protector of the ill and weak. Elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, the Romans honoured their corn goddess Ceres and the god Vulcan, the god of the forge and guardian of its fire, these two being a nice mirror to the attributes of Lu. Lammas comes from the Anglo-Saxon name for a similar festival held at this time, the word meaning life mass. In Egypt at this time they celebrate the goddess Isis, while in Native America there was a festival held in honour of the corn grandmother. This is a great time for gratitude rituals and to reaffirm your goals as you begin to see the fruits of your labour. Some folk traditions include throwing some of the initial harvest back into the fields as a sacrifice for continuing the good crops as the year grows on. This is a good time to celebrate with friends and family, to enjoy the bounty that nature gives. An offering of corn, wheat, bread, potatoes, beer or red wine can be given as thanks. Leave your offering outside to ensure prosperity. If you're setting up a Lammas altar, include yellow flowers such as calendula and sunflowers. Corn and grains are appropriate or you can include some bread. Make decorations or a crown of meadow sweet. Some people like to make the first corn dolls, although these also feature in the other harvests. An excellent addition is mint, either a sprig from the garden or use pure essential oil. You can use dried herbs, add that to your loose incense. Mint is one of my favourite herbs for protection, healing and prosperity. Light a candle and give thanks for your own harvest, whatever blessings are being given to you, and for those you hope to receive over the coming months. Traditionally, the cutting of the first grain would be taken at dawn, then made into a loaf to share around the community. Songs of John Barleycorn representing the growing, ageing, harvesting and regrowing of the crops are often sung at this time. Praise is given to the grain mother, heavily pregnant. Some stories liken her to Demeter, mother of Persephone, who disappeared into the depths during winter like a seed, to be reborn again in the spring. Others consider the grain mother to be carrying the New Year's Sun God. Tell us in the YouTube comments if you celebrate the first harvest and what traditions you have. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoy your celebrations. Goodbye. <laughs>